What's going on guys, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts here and we are back with another reaction of Attack on Titan. Now, this episode dropped and I decided to just do a quick setup of my setup <laughs> because I was like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try to get this um, Attack on Titan video out um, for you guys because I don't want you guys to be waiting for it um plus i'm super excited to watch this episode because i really want to know what happened i don't i still don't know if this is the final episode of the season i don't know uh, i guess i'll just watch the ending to see if it is if there's another episode coming um i think it i think it is because i think i saw something about a um about a, a trailer for season four so i don't know maybe i'll do that put it up on youtube at some point but for now, let's jump into this episode, man. We learned so much information in the last episode. And then I want to know what this hell this dude is talking about. How does he know Mikasa, Eren, and Armin? How? Or was it... I think he I think he just mentioned Armin and Mikasa. I think... Yeah, I think he was just Mikasa and Armin. I don't think he... I don't think he mentioned Eren. I don't think he mentioned Eren. But, um... But yeah, it's crazy because after all that information they gave us to help us to understand the story a lot better, you know what I'm saying? Aaron kind of figuring out, you know, that when he's in contact with royal blood, that's how he can use the coordinate power, the founding Titan power, right? So, um, so after learning all of that, they decide to drop that bomb on us at the end. Um, so I want to see how things progress from here. How are they going to um, wrap up wrap up the season if they do? Um, so we're going to jump into that real quick, man, because I don't want to have any time. I just kind of like made my setup kind of kind of crooked here. As you can see, I'm I'm not even using my real green screen. I just grabbed a green sheet <laughs> and hung it up in the room. I was like, I ain't able to take all that stuff back out of the bag and stuff. I just grabbed a piece of green cloth and just put that shit up behind. I was like, let's do this, man. Um yeah, the the other uh, the, the my girl is not home, so <laughs> so I'm just jumping to try to do this before she before she gets home. So let's get do this, man. I'll see you guys for the review. All right. Don't remember. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. Yeah. Okay, so welcome back, guys. So what I'm going to do is, first, I'm going to react to this Season 4 trailer. It's only, like, about 15 seconds long or something like that, um, from what I can see. Um, so this is, like, 27 seconds long. I guess it's probably tax up on on the end. Um, but, yeah, so I'm excited to see what they're gonna show here so let's just watch it and then i'll do the review for um the last episode hold on i want to see some i'm gonna slow it down to see if they because you know how they like to sneak clips into stuff let me slow it down uh well it's probably too much half a speed i want to see if they show any images okay there was nothing okay all right and it's the final season too. Okay. Twenty twenty. So next year. All right. So this seems pretty cool. Um. So all right. So Attack on Titan. The season finale, episode twenty two of season three. Was pretty cool, man. Pretty cool episode. 
don't have much to say about it other than the fact that he now see what really happened with his dad when he went there when he attacked the um the race family you know what i'm saying when he attacked them what really happened you know what i'm saying like why did he attack them you know because we didn't know that we didn't have that information before so him touching his story he understands how the coordinate power works so he knows that if he's in contact with someone of royal blood he will be able to tap into that but they don't know he hasn't told anybody yet I don't know if if they actually realize what's really going on. Um, I thought Hanji had a hint of of what you know he remembered or whatever in the in the episode before in episode twenty one, but it seems to not be that way. But as you can see, Heron he is pissed. Because, and I said, I would be pissed too. Because to know that my, my dad was pleading so much with these people to tell the truth. And they didn't tell the truth. They kept everybody still in, you know what I'm saying? In not knowing what's going, not knowing what's going on. Listen, when you tell the truth, whether everybody's not going to believe you right away all the time. Just like how you see in this episode, they said, no, let's tell the people what's going on. Tell them their heritage. Tell them everything. Tell them that everything they know is a lie. Of course, you're going to have those people that's going to be like, oh, it's a conspiracy theory. Hey, it, it, that's still a thing today where people are talking about these things. Things that actually happen <laughs> are conspiracy theory. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's just crazy um, to think that they wouldn't. That they wouldn't want them to go that route as in not telling them. People need to know their real heritage. They're all Eldians. They're all um, eligible eligible to be Titans, right? They can all turn into Titans, um, but not, you know what I'm saying? Not a Titan like, you know, those are special, the nine Titan powers. So, but I'm wondering, you know what I'm saying? The whole thing about them being mindless and eating their own, is that also something that we should be looking into? You know what I'm saying? Is it the fact that they will eat anyone in their path or whatever to survive? Why are they, why when they do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, why is it that when they turn them into time, they're mindless? They don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like they're, the thing about it too, is that it's not that they're not intelligent or they don't know what they want. They do. It's just that they just kind of like, in our eyes, they seem, you know, completely just out of it, you know, in a, in a certain way. You just feel like they're just out of it. So it's kind of like when you look at it from the, from from that perspective, as in, you know, they kind of know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Even though, yes, all they want to do is eat people or whatever the situation is. It, they, they do go about it in a, in a kind of sensible way. You know what I'm saying? You know, they, 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 you know what I'm saying? So at the same, at the same time, yeah, they might not have a attack Titan power or, you know, beast Titan power or one of these nine powers, but they do go about it. That's why I'm, I'm like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, why did this girl come all the way back to eat Aaron's mother? You know what I'm saying? Why did she come all the way back? to come eat Aaron's mother. It just kind of seems like it, at this point, we knowing that information just seems like revenge. You know what I'm saying? Is is it, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's ironic to, 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 um, it's ironic to the point of being too obvious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, but it's good. You know what I'm saying? It's good. I enjoyed the episode, man. Them, you know, finally going beyond the wall after six years, everybody's kind of grown up and stuff like that. Aaron's definitely grown up, grew out his hair. I mean, if I was like, yeah, I wouldn't care anyways. He, he's going to die soon. You know what I'm saying? Six years, right? So six years, I think he had like, I think he was, I think 
in the last episode is you know when he was talking i think they said he, he like about seven and a half years i think they said he has a flu so if six years pass aaron basically only has a year to live in in a way if i'm correct i don't remember exactly i think they said like seven and a half years so it would makes it but then again you know what i'm saying it's only it was that whole thing that we watched up until that was only a year past since the the colossal titan attacked the wall so it's only been a year that whole thing that we've been watching has only been a year span um that happened in in their world you know what i mean so six years have passed it fixed the wall finally get to go and beyond the wall again so seven years have passed so he doesn't have long left to live according to the rules of you know getting these powered um the, um these titan powers so um Aaron doesn't have long left to live but i'm left looking forward to the next episode um the next season i should say so definitely man i love the fact that they got to the beach and Aaron is just super serious he's like yo because he knows he doesn't have long left to live and that put things into perspective for you because you're like yes it's awesome to be here it's big but you know what i'm saying i don't want to be a debbie downer and all but you know what i'm saying like the fight ain't over you know will we finally be free when we beat our enemies you know what I'm saying? Or is something else going to come up again? You know what I'm saying? Because it's not just the Marleans and, and the freaking um, Eldians that are out here. You know what I'm saying? Because the world is bigger than just them. Uh, yes, they were pushed you know, all out to go live on an island or whatever. But if it's just like Eldians and Marleans exist in the world, then that's what it is. But, you know... At this point, anything could be possible in this damn world. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, it's awesome, man. Hopefully, we can get another great season out of this. Hopefully, they don't change studios or anything like that um, to rush it out. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm happy. I'm happy. This season was an awesome season. We had... It was such a well-paced season man like they're doing such a good job with this anime um it, it's unbelievable so shout out to you know the studios the the voice actors everybody on the team that that did this season man shout out to y'all y'all did an awesome job y'all kept us engaged the entire season and i don't read the manga so i don't know what's going to happen next i'm not going to take up the manga to see what happens next or anything like that because i want to see all this in action it's just great because they give you that vibe you know what i'm saying you want to come back for more so thank you guys for watching as always man hopefully you hit that like button hit that notification bell also leave a comment in the comment section if you're new hit that subscribe button and remember you are terror squad i am mr terror by reacts and i will see you guys next time yeah.